Today, we are going to answer a ton of questions that I have received regarding task lists in Microsoft Loop, particularly around integrations and notifications. Hi, my name's Amy. Welcome to my channel. Let's nerd out. Let's first take a look at three ways that we can create task lists. The first place that we can create a loop component is directly within a loop page in the loop app. So here we are within the loop app and at Amy's animal shop, we are creating a pause merchandise line. So we are going to create a task list to manage that project. To insert the task list, we will go ahead and press forward slash and then search task list. From here, we can start to add our tasks. So the first one will be to draft designs for bandanas and we will assign that to Mike. Just know that when you add somebody, if this little plus icon appears, then that means that they do not have permissions to this loop page or loop site. So you can see on the left hand side here, in this case, it just says one workspace member, which is me. So Mike is not part of this workspace, so he doesn't have access to this page. So let's go ahead and share and notify with Mike. And note that we have only now shared this page. We have not shared the workspace because this has not updated. I am still the only member. Okay, we will go ahead and add a date and we will go ahead and add myself as well. From here, now that we have our task list in place, we can now select this waffle icon and go create loop component. Once that loop component has been created, then we can head up to this icon on the top right to copy the component. Then we can harness all of the benefits of loop and share this component in other apps, such as within an email. And the great benefit of loop and all of these loop components is that they update in real time. So here I have that component drafted in an email. And if we select complete here, then we will see that that has now updated instantly within that loop component on the loop page. The last thing that I wanted to note here is that as soon as the first task is added to the task list, then a lightweight plan is created within planner, which means that these task lists integrate with planner and to do. Additionally, when somebody is assigned a task, then they will receive an email notification and we will dive into those a little bit later in this video. The second way that a task list can be created is as a loop component in another app. Here we are within Teams and we can send a loop component in a Teams chat. Once again, we will just select task list from the drop down menu and then we can create that task list right within this Teams chat. Similarly, we can insert a loop component within OneNote. And lastly, earlier we saw how we could paste a loop component into an email. We can also add a loop component directly within the mail window. So from here we can select task list and here we can give it a name. So this time we'll call it Outlook Merch Plan and then we can go ahead and assign those tasks. So this time I'll call that one Outlook Draft Design for Bandanas. Once again, I will assign that to Mike. And the great thing about Outlook is that when you assign a task to somebody, they automatically appear in that to area of the email pane. So that just saves you a little bit of time and really streamlines that process. Once again, let's just go ahead and add a date. And there we go. Now we have that task list created in Outlook. And when we create these task lists as loop components within other apps, we have a similar experience when it comes to email notifications as well as accessibility within Planner. Now it's important to note that when we create task lists as loop components within other apps, they're not automatically assigned to a workspace. So to locate them, you need to navigate to this recent components and pages area or if you are already working within a loop page, then you can head over to recent on the top left here. This brings up the recent pane. And what you're going to be looking for is the name of the loop component on the left hand side, which in this case is loop component eight. And then under locations in this instance, it is Outlook Merch Plan No Workspace. 
which matches the subject of the email for that loop component. So in this case, we can open up this loop component. And then from here, you can select add to workspace. And then you can select which workspace you would like to add this to. So let's go ahead and add this to Amy's animal shop. As an alternative, when you go to create a task list in a loop component, under this shared icon on the top right, we select that, then we can select add to loop workspace. And this will take us to that page that we were just on, allowing you to easily assign your task list as soon as you create them to an appropriate workspace. And this will just help you locate them and narrow down that search later on. The final place that we can add a task list is within the collaborative notes created in a Teams meeting. So here we are within the calendar in Teams. And let's go ahead and add a meeting. This one is for our trendy dog beach merch, and we will go ahead and invite Mike. And at the bottom of this meeting, we will see the add an agenda, and that is going to create collaborative notes for this meeting. And at the bottom here, we have follow up tasks. So that is actually a task list. Let's go ahead and select add task. We will assign Mike a task to research dog life jackets. Once again, we will share access with him and assign a due date. Then we can tab through and add another task. And this time we will assign it to me. Now, similar to what we just saw in Outlook, these collaborative notes are not automatically allocated to a workspace within Loop. So what we need to do is head up to this little shared locations icon and we can add it to a workspace. This time, let's go ahead and select Amy's Animal Shop. And then now we can navigate to the Amy's Animal Shop workspace and we are going to see that trendy dog beach merch loop collaborative meeting notes. If you forget to assign your collaborative notes to a workspace, then what we can do is in this recents area, we can use this meeting notes filter at the top and there we can locate the trendy dog beach merch collaborative notes. Now that we have learned how we can create these task lists, let's take a look at how we can manage these tasks. We are going to dive into two integrations starting off with Planner. As soon as we assign that first task in a task list, then a linked plan is created and a couple of things happen. Firstly, I wanted to show you how you can manage tasks that have been assigned to you. Here we are in Mike's planner for the web. You will head over to assign to me and there you will see those two tasks that have just been assigned to you. So this will include all of your tasks that are assigned to you in task list, as well as any other tasks that might appear here. So one thing that I really like about the planner for the web is that you can select on this plan name at the top of this card and that will take you to the whole plan showing you other tasks that have been inside to other coworkers. Additionally, if you want to pin this plan and so it's easy for you to access and it will be available on the left-hand side. And lastly, if you want to head over to the loop page from planner, then you can select this linked plan icon here and then go to the loop page that way. We can see that those tasks are also showing up under the assigned to me within the new planner in Teams, but hopefully the other functionality will be coming soon as well. Now I want to draw your attention to this task list here that we created in Outlook and Amy created it, but she is not assigned any tasks here, so she won't be able to open it under assigned to me within planner. So for Amy to locate this plan in planner, there are a few ways that you can accomplish that. Now, firstly, I just want to draw your attention to this being loop component number eight. We'll get to that in just a moment, but the easiest way is to locate this email and to simply on the right hand side, select task apps and then open in planner. From here, you can pin the task list to the sidebar. And also something that's super handy is we can rename this. These plans can also be accessed under hubs. And then you might see it here, but I would recommend going all. Now, depending on your situation, this might 
look a little chaotic like mine, but you can see now that there's that renamed Outlook merch task list created here. And as a little tip, if you are going to be assigning people tasks and you are going to be overseeing all of those tasks, then it might be beneficial for you to create a task item that's called like, you know, review the plan, assign a date that you want to follow up with everybody and then assign it to yourself. This way you will now see that task under your assigned to me in planner, which will prompt you to follow up on this plan. As we touched on earlier, you can also locate these task lists under recent and then open them in planner that way. Opening these plans within planner is beneficial. You get these additional views at the top, which when you start to fill out tasks are really handy. Additionally, you can expand these cards and then you have way more options here. You can add notes, mini checklists, or even attachments. And any updates that you make here, so we can call this a new bucket, we can add a task, and that will update in the loop component within that email as well. So everything does sync, which is just so amazing. And then you have those additional benefits. These tasks also link within to do. So here we are within the to do tab in the new outlook, and we can see those two tasks are showing up under the assigned to me. Now that we have learned how we can create and manage these tasks, let's take a look at how we can manage the notifications. There are five ways to manage your notifications for task list tasks. So let's take a look at each of these that you can tailor them to your needs. Let's take a look at Mike's notifications. And the first area is within that activity feed of Microsoft Teams. So here we can see all of those notifications for those task list items. And you'll notice that there's this little planner icon right here, which we'll get to that in just a moment. Now to manage these notifications, you can select the ellipses, head on down to notification settings, or if yours are turned off for some reason and you want to manage these, then we can head up to the ellipses and go to settings and then head to notifications and activity. Now this one's a little bit sneaky, so pop on down to the bottom and we will see apps and we'll see that planner icon that we just talked about. From here, you can either toggle this off to mute those notifications, or if you would like to receive them, then you can toggle it on. There are also, if we select this drop down carrot, a ton. There are so many options for you to customize your notifications within this activity center within Teams. So feel free to take a peruse through there and adjust as you see fit. The second notification area is within the loop app. So if we head up to the bell icon, then you can see all of the notifications right here. And then when you click on the notification, it will take you to that page. The third notification is the start your day email for all of your loop activity, providing you a nice summary of recent tasks and mentions assigned to you, along with a due date, as well as a summary of unread items from over a day ago. To manage the settings for this email, you can scroll down to the bottom of the email and select notification settings. Alternatively, these notifications are managed within OneDrive. So if you go to OneDrive and from the top right, you can select the gear icon and select OneDrive settings. From here at the bottom of this notification settings page, we will see email digest of all loop app notifications sent once daily. So if you would like to turn off those emails, then you can simply toggle this off. The fourth notification is this email that is you have been assigned a task. And we can see here that this is from that loop trendy dog beach merch loop page. So from here, you can either click on the task, which will open it up in loop, or you can open up this task in planner in teams or planner for the web. And to manage the notifications for this email notification, you can see at the bottom here that says notification settings, go to planner, select the gear icon and select notifications. So you could head over to planner via this link or in planner for the web, we can select the gear icon, head down to notifications. And this first item here, when someone assigns a task to me, 
So that is going to be via an email, which is what we just looked at. And if you have the mobile app, then you'll be notified there as well. Toggle it off and then save your changes. And the last way to manage your tasks is via this summary of all of your tasks within Planner, including loop task lists. And this is sent via Planner. So we can see here that we have all of these tasks. This was sent this morning, so the ones that we just did today won't be there, but it is sent to you first thing in the morning and is a great way to provide a snapshot of what you have due today as well as what you have upcoming. So you can simply click on these tasks and they will open them in wherever they have been assigned. In this case, we have that loop icon. Alternatively, you can view them in Planner and Teams or Planner for the web. And to manage the notifications, you can go to the bottom of the email. And once again, you'll see that we need to go to Planner for the web. So you can once again, click on that hyperlink. And this time from that gear icon under settings, we can go to notifications. And that is this second one. So this is going to be notified a summer email in the morning when you have tasks that are late do today or do it in the next seven days. So this is a really great way. I have had some comments. How do I get notified when I have tasks coming up? This is a great way to be notified of that seven days in advance. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I do hope that I've helped you discover your inner nerd today. If you haven't already, then please give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified on all my recent uploads. All right. Thanks for nerding out. We will see you in the next video.